crazy because the one thing everybody knows is that they know nothing, right? There's no, there's so many interconnected pieces with different asset classes. This is no longer just about the stock market. It's about currencies. It's, it's about ETFs. It's about so many different asset classes that are global that there are algorithms that are connecting all these pieces together and making decisions that impact the stock market in ways that we've never seen before. It's crazy. If billionaire investor and entrepreneur Mark Cuban says the markets are crazy, what chances does the average investor have? We have answers for you. Our plunge protection team <laughs> is here. They each have one piece of advice best for you how to navigate this market. Tangent Capital Managing Partner Bob Rice back with me. Joining us, Fox Business Superstar Jerry Willis, personal finance expert Michael Lee. Michael Lee, give me one piece of advice. Average investor, what do I do? So I would use this volatility to your advantage. So uh, if you've got a lot of cash on the sidelines, buying the dips, and if you want to take risk off the table, use the peaks like today to take some profits off the table and, and create some of that cash if you're All right, investing. so be active in your management of your stocks. Pay attention. All Jerry. about asset allocation. That's what protects you here is that you have to make sure you have the right mix of stocks, of bonds. That's what protects people who are closer to retirement, and that's what I'd be paying attention to now. All right, so Bob, more than just stocks or bonds, we'll probably get to that in a minute, but first, so one thing I need to know. Various kinds of investments will allow you to smooth out these rides so you're not constantly faced with a you know, quandary of am I in or am I out? There are a whole bunch of things that will smooth it for you. It's really important right now. Okay, such as? Such as mutual funds that run something called long short strategies. There are about 150 of these out there right now. They go long their favorite stocks to managers. They short their least favorite stocks. It's a 100-year-old strategy. It was invented by Benjamin Graham, the father of value investing, back in the roaring 20s to protect him in that kind of a crazy market. This kind of crazy market calls for the same sort of thing, and it's available in regular mutual fund format. How do I pick? Well, you've got some Morningstar, Wilshire, various other kinds of rating agencies have really good ratings on these things, and you can pick pretty easily. Michael, are you hearing from your clients that they're interested in products like this? Uh, always, always hearing about uh, new stuff like that. But we're, we're a little bit more focused on the basics. Our theory is just keeping it as simple as possible. Um, I, I need a little bit more advice from Bob over here before. Yeah, all right, <laughs> Jerry, I know you've been watching the volatility. What are your sources telling I, you? You know, can I just say I'm so worried about ETFs, I can't stand it. Big mess in ETFs. That was Mark Cuban, as it turns Monday out. Morning. I think he's dead on. That was a fantastic interview. I mean, I just feel like, why would I be in ETFs if I can't predict how they're going to open, if, if they are so disconnected from reality that they can't even trade and right? And for people who may not know, ETF exchange traded funds, and in theory, they are actually supposed to be more liquid, which is why in the past people have gone to them. But I know you've said in the past, Bob, they're not what they used to be. They're, they're not. They've grown massively beyond the first yeah. few, which were very successful in very deep liquid markets like this Standard & Poor's. Now there are zillions of them. People flock to them because they look a little bit cheaper than regular mutual funds, but there's a lot behind the curtain in that plumbing that can go wrong, and some of it went wrong on Monday. All right, Pennywise, pound of foolish. That does not apply to any one of these three people. <laughs> Bob Rice, Jerry Willis, Michael Lee, thank you very much.